Hi students, today I am going to demonstrate the mechanism left menu and first how to hold the baby. Baby should be placed on the floor and keep like this. Both hands should be pressed and keep the baby back. Then you can hold the baby like this from the back, then extend the head. This left menu and here the possible findings are line is longitudinal. Attitude is one of the extension of the head and complete flexion of the limbs. Presentation is face presentation. Below is the mental. Presenting part is the left malar bone. Position is left mendo anterior. We can see the mechanism. First is engagement. Engagement takes place. Uh, when the sub mendo brick matty, this is the sub mendo brick matty diameter. So the sub mendo brick matty diameter that is 9.5 cm has passed through the pelvic inlet and the chin touches the iliopectinal eminence and uh, you can see chin set but touches the iliopectinal eminence and sub occipital occipital touches the right sacroiliac joint here so this is the engagement take place that is chin touches the iliopectinal eminence and occipital touches the uh, right sacroiliac joint next is the extension with increased extent this and take place with the increased extension and the chin or mendum become the leading part you can see from this chin is the leading part mm -hmm. and descent occurs throughout the labor and internal rotation of the head when chin touches the pelvic floor it rotate first and you rotate 1 by 8 of the circle forward along the left side of the pelvis to lie under the symphysis space and chin reaches under the hollow of the sacrum now we can see the chin this uh, now in the fall of the sacrum. Next is the birth of the head. Birth of the head is by double mechanism of flexion and extension is maintained until the chin is born. You can see until the chin is born that is until the extension is maintained. Then extension is maintained and until the chin is born by escaping beneath the symphysis space. And rest of the head is born by the flexion that is sensiport, vertex, occiput, sweeps through the perineum. So head is born by the next moment is a flexion. Then restitution. Restitution takes place when the uh, chin turn uh, 1 by 8 of the circle to the left side of the mother. And realign. It, it is done for the realignment itself with the shoulder. Then the internal rotation of the shoulder. That is the shoulder enter the pelvis with the bisacronial diameter. That is in the left oblique diameter. That is the shoulder enter the pelvis with the left oblique diameter. Then the, when the anterior shoulder touches the pelvic floor, it rotates anteriorly through the right side to comes under the same place. Same time, the external rotation of the head also takes place again towards the left side. Now, the body is in the same alignment. Then, the anterior shoulder escape under the symphysis pubis. Then, the posterior shoulder sweeps through the perineum and the whole body is delivered by the moment of lateral flexion and the keep the baby towards the mother's abdomen. Thank you.